CompTIA ITF Plus FC 0-U61 Practice Exam Assuming that you have finished watching our free CompTIA ITF Plus Complete Training Course, then you are ready for the next step in your CompTIA ITF Plus Certification Journey. This video is part of our Practice Exam video series, and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 1. Which of the listed interfaces is most suitable in connecting two Mac computers together? The answer is E. Thunderbolt. A Mac bridge allows two Mac computers to be connected directly using a Thunderbolt cable, enabling them to communicate and share files seamlessly. Developed in collaboration between Apple and Intel, Thunderbolt ports have become a standard feature on Mac computers. They support data, video, audio, and power on a single connection. This, combined with the Mac Bridge feature, makes Thunderbolt the ideal choice for direct Mac to Mac connections. Question 2 A technician is swapping out an existing router in the workplace. The router must support two frequency bands, one allowing employee connectivity and one for visitor connectivity. Which of the listed wireless standards should the technician utilize? The answer is D. 802.11n. 802.11n is the optimal answer for the scenario because it supports dual band functionality, operating on both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz frequency bands. This dual band capability allows for the creation of two separate wireless networks, one can be designated for employee connectivity, ensuring secure and consistent connections, while the other can be allocated for visitor access providing flexibility without compromising the primary network's integrity. Question 3. A service provider is troubleshooting a workstation problem for a client. The service provider first identifies the problem and researches available knowledge bases without success. Which of the listed items should the service provider perform next? The answer is A. Establish a theory of probable cause. Establishing a theory of probable cause is the logical next step for the service provider after identifying the problem and unsuccessfully searching knowledge bases. By formulating a theory of probable cause, the service provider hypothesizes potential root causes of the workstation's issue based on the available evidence and symptoms. This approach allows for a structured and systematic troubleshooting process while also aligning with CompTIA's troubleshooting methodology. Question 4. When connecting to a server via SSH, a system manager encounters the following alert that is assumed to be associated with a MITM attack. The alert reads, remote host identification has changed. Given this alert, which of the following has been put at risk? The answer is B. Confidentiality and integrity. Confidentiality and integrity are compromised when a system manager sees a potential man-in-the-middle alert during an SSH connection. Confidentiality is threatened as an attacker might intercept and read the transmitted data. Integrity is at risk because the data could be altered in transit. Receiving an alert that reads, remote host identification has changed, warns of potential data interception or tampering. Question 5. A user is facing a problem with a web browser displaying a web page incorrectly. The web page appears fine in different browsers. In this situation, what steps should the user take to resolve the problem? The answer is B. Check for browser compatibility issues. The most likely solution to a web page displaying incorrectly in one browser but not in others is to check for browser compatibility issues. Web pages are designed to work across various browsers, but individual browsers can interpret content differently. If the problem is specific to one browser, it indicates a compatibility issue with that particular browser, not the web page itself. Now, did you stumble on any of these questions? If you did, no worries, it happens. Just remember, our free CompTIA ITF Plus training course is your secret weapon to mastering these topics. 
Access it through our YouTube channel anytime you feel the desire to learn more. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.